What up internet, Corinne here and you're watching Corinne vs. Cookin'. Today, we're gonna be trying to make jiggly cheesecake. The is jiggly cheesecake? You know what, I, I didn't really know until I did a little bit of research and found this video and now I get it, now I get it. Y'all are a bunch of little perverts. That's why you wanna see me try this. It looks pretty cool, but it also looks pretty scandalous. Yeah, I, I see that jiggle. Just call me a gigolo. What? Wow. Well, let's get started, shall we? Cotton soft Japanese cheesecake. Oh, let's see how he does that. He's got a little piece of paper in there. Whatever that is. I don't know what the f that is. Cream cheese, eggs, cream of tartare. Don't let me forget that. Will you get pasta, and then some more pasta, and then the pasta sauce, and then pasta? It's a lot of pasta. I found it. There it is. Oh, uh, demonetized. Cream of tartare. Twink. All right, I think we got all our supplies. Let's make some jiggly Japanese cheesecake. First thing I have to do is prep the pan. So I'm just tracing around it onto some parchment paper. As I realized that's what it was that he was putting in the bottom of the pan. You also need a strip to go around the sides, but it doesn't really want to stay where it's supposed to. So I'm just gonna use a little persuasion. Also, since this is a springform pan, we need to double line it with some foil so no leakage happens. This is very important. I've had leakage before with these things and it's not a pretty sight. And, and then yeah, it just goes on top of a pan that has some paper towels on top of it, like so. Totally not a pain in the ass at all. Okay, now we actually have to start making the cheesecake. Woo! First, I have to measure out all of my ingredients, starting with the cream cheese and the butter, which is going into a double boiler with the milk that I just measured out as well. Apparently, this is supposed to melt down to a point where it's actually smooth, but I think this is gonna take a while. Also, I'm pretty sure my double boiler is a tad too small for all of these things, but we're just gonna make it work. While that's taking forever to melt, I'm gonna measure out the rest of my ingredients. And then I just gotta add them all together and... Wait, fuck. I don't think I was supposed to put the cream of tartare in here. No. It's supposed to go in with the egg whites. And I don't know, baking is so hard and it's an exact science and I think this is gonna mess everything up. Okay, I guess I have to measure all that shit again. It's totally fine. I love wasting food. Oh wait, did I already tell you about having to separate the eggs? you gotta do that too. Yeah, make sure to do that. Okay, I think this is finally melted enough. Yeah, it looks pretty good. I just have to let that cool down a good amount and then add my egg yolks and the dry ingredients. And yeah, this is what it looks like now. Time to make our meringue. Yeah, so that cream of tartare we talked about earlier, that's supposed to go in the egg whites. And then we're supposed to use a hand mixer to whisk these eggs until they're foamy. And then add our sugar and whisk everything until stiff peaks form. I gotta admit, this doesn't seem very promising at first. Very soupy. It took a really, 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 really long time before I started to see any action. In fact, I had to Google it because I really thought this was not gonna happen for me. But there were a couple mistakes I made. First being, I didn't let my egg whites sit at room temperature for long enough, so that makes it take longer. I don't know how the f people did this before electricity. Maybe it's good now? Nope. And still nope. And no, still not stiff enough. I have straight up been doing this for 30 minutes. My mixer feels like it's gonna explode or something. You know what, this is gonna have to do it because I just can't. I don't even know what my life is anymore. Now, I'm supposed to fold the meringue into the batter a little bit at a time, and I usually suck at doing this, so I want you to know I'm trying really hard not to F this up right now. Yes, okay, this is what we got, and into the pan that goes. Now I'm just supposed to put some water in this pan and cook it for a little over an hour. Feeling pretty good, feeling pretty confident. And while that's cooking, I should have enough time to clean up the giant mess that I've made. A clean cook is a happy cook. Phew, we did it. Good job, me. Things are smelling good too. Kitty, can you smell the cheesecake? The moment of truth has arrived. 
<laughs> you know what? This doesn't seem very jiggly or soft or cottony. In fact, it seems pretty freaking terrible. It's all wet at the bottom too because it seems that water found its way into the cake pan. So gross. Ah, this is probably the worst cheesecake that has ever existed. It's delicious though. Finally, I grew on all three of my mini cakes. Yolanda over here making a fucking fidget spinner cake and I can't even make one goddamn jiggly cheesecake. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you looking at? Should I be nervous? Alrighty then, it's an average day here. Well, I'm sure this recipe has worked for somebody else, maybe, in the past, but it did not work for me. So, f this recipe, I'm trying a different one. What am I making again? Oh yeah, jiggly cheesecake recipe copycat. Alright, Buzzfeed, better not f***ing let me down. 13 large egg whites, you must be yoking. <laughs> What up, Internet Corinne here, and it is Jiggly Cheesecake Day 2. Yeah, I'm pretty disappointed. I really thought it was gonna be one and done this time. But no. So yeah, Rob's here with us again. I thought it was delicious. It tasted pretty good, but it was not jiggly. And you know how much we like that jiggle. Oh, here we go again. We gotta wipe it off first. Let's go make some jiggly cheesecake. I'm also thinking my pan was too big, so here we are at the kitchen store to buy a new pan. Success. Okay, so this new recipe tells me to melt the cream cheese butter and milk right in the pan. You know what, this went a lot quicker. While it cools, I have to retrieve the whites of 13 eggs and the yolks of eight. This is not a yolk, people. Things don't always go as smoothly as you want them to. Yeah, this mother right here is just egging me on. Ahem, <laughs> yes. Going to let these room temperatureize this time. And yeah, let's make the rest of our stuff while that happens. I'm simply drizzling the egg yolks into the pan with the rest of the stuff and then sifting the flour and cornstarch in there as well. And this looks great so far, I think. The directions say to whisk the whites until they're a little peaky then gradually add the sugar whilst whisking. This recipe also does not call for cream of tartar, so you know, I, I, I'm not gonna use it. Yeah, and then you just spend the rest of your life whisking it away. This really does take a long ass time. I think I might need some whiskey to get me through this. Whiskey. But you know what, I did it, and now I'm part of the Merengue Alliance. Merengue Alliance, get it? No? No, okay, yeah, that joke is just really bad. Sorry, moving on. Onwards and upwards. Wait, I forgot to prep my new pan. Ah, doing this as quickly and as accurately as possible. I did learn a few things from the last time, so yeah, things are a lot more efficient. I actually think this is gonna work better this time. Hopefully, we don't get any water seepage. I also read that it's good to leave some extra parchment at the top because our cake is going to double in size and you need to be prepared for that. All right, now we just have to fold our new meringue into this new batter. Yeah, I am a batter bitch. You know what? I think this might actually work this time. I am super excited. While this cake is cooking, I'm gonna cut out a Threadbanger stencil from my handy Threadbanger pumpkin carving kit to use as a powdered sugar stencil when it's done. You know, like a fucking boss. Also, take a look at my exacto skills. They're on point, y'all. And done just in time to bask in the internet glory I so deserve right now. We did it. We did it. Okay. Whoa, hello. Leave this open for a second. Please, 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 please. Here it is. Jiggle cake number two. Oh, damn. It doesn't look jiggly already. Look at that, huh? This took everything I had. Yeah, you've been on this for two days now. It looks good though, right? Oh yeah, I still don't even know what a fucking jiggly cheesecake is supposed to look like, but I don't give a shit. This looks delicious. It just needs a goddamn jiggle. Can you just, what is it? Ah, yeah, That's enough. Go away now. Uh -huh. Yeah, you're not allowed, you know. You just filmed me taking it out of the oven. <sighs> this did not double in size. It's not as bad as the first one, but this is not the jiggle I signed up for. Fuck it. We're still gonna add the sugar. I didn't spend all this time cutting out the stencil not to use it. P.S. If you spray a little bit of water 
on the paper. It makes the stencil stick a little better to the top of the cake and you get a more accurate stencil. Just a little tip from your sugar mama. Not as in the center of the cake as I wanted it to be, but that's, that's okay because we're gonna add the strawberries to the bottom. Yes, this was completely intentional. Look at this beautiful masterpiece. Take some Instagram pictures and live our goddamn lives. That's what we're gonna do. You know what? If you slow it down enough, there is definitely a little bit of a jiggle. You just gotta shake it really fucking hard. Fucking cheesecake. Hello? I brought you something. What the f is this it? Yeah. Here, jiggle it a little. All right, if you want me to. Oh, the cheesecake? Oh, the cheesecake. <laughs> just kidding. I'll, like shake the dish. I, like more. You gotta like. No, 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 not like, not like that. Okay. All right. Did you see how much it jiggled? You saw that, right? Yeah, jiggly cheesecake. Yeah, <laughs> look at that. Woo! <laughs> jiggly. Oh, hey. Oh, jiggly and delicious. I did bring you a fork. No need for that. Fork it, right? Mmm. So you like it? It's pretty good. Is there more? There's more jiggle where that comes from. You know it, girl. Well, that sucks. There wasn't enough jiggle. What? They came for the jiggle. We have to give them the jiggle. I'll do a reverse. You think you can do better than me? Yeah. I doubt it. Every day, bro. Every day. Yeah. Nothing jiggled. Non-jiggling cheesecake piece of shit. This was not the jiggle I was promised. We still need some jiggle. We still need some jiggle.